Hey guys, GP Mushrooms. Today I'm going to show you how to use hydrated lime to, uh, with straw to make a mushroom log. I'm going to make a mushroom log from our farmer's market. So that way I can have a, a drawing and whoever wins gets a mushroom log. And here's my two helpers, Aiden and Lynn. That's Aiden. Lynn's wearing the clover. Alright, here we go. Alright, first things first, you're going to need a straw. It's got to be chopped up. Uh, approximately three inches in, in, uh, in length. Uh, I buy pre-chopped straw from a tractor supply. Then you're going to need horticulture hydrated lime. Now what you're looking for is high calcium and low magnesium when you're doing this. As you can see. Alright. Uh, I got some leftover bags here and since I'm just doing a small batch for you know a single mushroom log I don't need too much so I can use all my leftover bags. Uh, when you're measuring out your hydrate line for your water, it's one tablespoon per gallon. Now, if I was to fill this up to 30 gallons, I would use two full cups of hydrate lime, and that would be a you know, perfect measurement. All right, and uh, I'm ready for my hydrate lime there. Now, Wayne is filling it up with water. Now, what you're going to want to do is completely fill it up to where the straw will submerge into the water. Go ahead and shoot the white stuff, buddy. Like I said, you can't use too much hydrated lime, but you can use too little. Uh, the water will only break down so much hydrated lime, and then the rest of it's going to settle to the bottom. That's right. All right, these guys don't know it yet, but they're the future of GP mushrooms and future mushroom growers of America here in South Texas. All right, now, well, now the straw is completely filled with water. Go ahead and put the brick on there. Now what you're going to want to do is put a brick on there, kind of weigh it down. And there you go. Just make sure the straw is submerged and just let it sit for four hours. You don't need a pH meter at all for this. Like so one tablespoon per gallon of water works perfectly fine. All right, in four hours I will drain and bag. All right guys, now I'm going to go ahead and drain my straw. It's been soaking for four hours. As you can see, my tub's got a bunch of holes in the bottom of it. And since I'm just making one mushroom log, you know, a pretty decent sized mushroom log, I'm just going to go ahead and go over this small tub, a tub of mine. Normally I use a big garbage can that matches the size of this one. And that one's got a bunch of drain holes everywhere in the bottom and along the sides. Alright guys, I uh, let my straw drain for an hour. I got my poly tubing. Um, it's probably about five foot, nah, probably about four foot long. And here's my jar of spawn. I already broke up a bunch of it. Now all I'm gonna do is pour the spawn in there, mix it really good, and then I'm gonna stuff my my poly tubing. Now anytime you're using straw to uh, make mushroom logs or mushrooms, I do recommend that you use <coughs> poly tubing to make your uh, you know your uh, mushroom logs with straw. You'll get better results than trying to stuff it into like a little five pound bag. Straw is just not very nutritious, you could say. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this done. All right, guys, I'm done with my mushroom log. As you can see, it's no longer four foot. It shrunk down to 14 inches. When you stuff your log, stuff it really well. Pack it, pack it really good. Uh, now that I got it all packed up, I poked holes all around, about four holes all around the log. You know, the more air holes it has, the better it's going to breathe, the better it's going to faster it's going to colonize. I went ahead and inoculated this log with Princess Pearl. Uh, the best part about using hydrated lime is you can work out in the open. You don't need no special equipment. There's, you don't have to wait for your blocks to cool down. It's fast. It's, it's just faster and more efficient. It really is. And like I suggest before, if you're going to use straw, make sure you get poly tubing so that way you can make logs out of it. You're going to get more mushrooms this way. You're going to get better flushes of mushrooms. And I can't wait to take this to the farmer's market and see uh, who wins this lucky log. I hope you guys, I wish you guys a good harvest. Another thing that I want to tell you, if you're going to use this kind of technique where you're poking holes in your bag for your mushroom blocks, make sure to rub it down, lightly coat it with uh, some cooking oil. It doesn't matter what kind of cooking oil you use. Just grab a, you know, a paper towel, put a little cooking oil on there and smear it all around your block. 
So the way if gnats come to it, they're going to get stuck and they're going to die. That's going to take care of your whole gnat problem. And again, I do wish you guys a good harvest. Thanks for stopping by.